And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Nocturne Swain. And this is going to be our first deck today. This is going to be a donation deck. So this is a viewer submitted deck that looks pretty cool. I mean, I, I like both of these champions, Swain and Nocturne. And I, I wanted to play more Nocturne decks than just um, regular Nightfall ones with Targon. So this is going to be interesting putting it with Noxus in um, a nice aggressive shell. Um, Stygian Onlookers is an awesome one drop. Not the best one drop to play on turn one, but an awesome one later on. Um, as far as our Nightfall cards, we're only playing Onlooker, Unspeakable Horror, uh, and Doom Beast to go along with the Nocturne. Uh, but that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, we got Crimson Disciple in here on the two drop. No Transfusion, no Demolitionist, nothing to really use with that. But um, it can do some non combat damage if it survives damage which is what we need for uh swain to level up so it can do that we have the arachnoid century ravenous flock combo and just ravenous flock in general probably going to be pretty good for us um doom beast does non-combat damage great for swain and then of course leviathan at the top end to pair with the swain so looks like a pretty pretty uh sweet deck here so here we go let's go um let's go play our five games over in ranked the two drop Nightfall Elusive, I believe, is a Targon card, I'm pretty sure. I don't think that card's in Shadow Isles. I think that that's in the wrong region. Lunari something or other. Alright, Twisted Lee. So we have Onlooker on turn one, Grenadier on turn two. Um, do I want to keep Ravenous Flock and Nocturne? Maybe not the flock. We'll keep Nocturne. And of course we draw the, the reason to have flock. <laughs> Very next card. Okay, got it back. The, pro the one problem with having this one drop, two drop combo is um, I won't have four mana on turn three, so like I, I can't go sentry and flock this turn. Alright, so we'll just play Grenadier instead. Hey, that's my card. What are you doing taking my card? My card, my card. They're taking... Um, yeah, let's lead with Precious Pet. I wanted to do this to see if they put a better blocker, or like a better thing for me to be stunning. I don't know, I guess these are both 3-2s, they're the same. I wish I could save that till next turn and, you know, have that before the Nocturne. So five for Swain. All right, probably just playing Swain this turn. The spirit gives to those who listen. That's our best option. All right, just one one spell, so no draggling. We'll go right to combat. Yeah, I think we go right to combat. We can't see what was in their hand, but I agree that was not not very much that last turn. All right, that's just how it is. So I can play these things, but then I, I don't really have anything to do next turn. Instead, I'm going to just hold on to the Grenadier. Be able to play the Grenadier first. 
and now have both of these at nightfall turned on. Gave the one thing that can block Swain a vulnerable. <laughs> we only have the one Nightfall card in play right now, so uh, Nocturne's not going to level up. Back to Moen. All right, have fun with that, Jake. I need to do that with the, my backyard. I need to do that today. I just did the front yard the other day. Need to do some mowing. Those are the saddest pilfer goods. It's too late for you. You cannot escape. And it sounds like it's too late for the opponent. And there we go. I'm not sure what that spell was, but whatever it was, I guess it wasn't good enough. My comfort and only one way. All right, this time Twisted Fate Swain, Twisted Fate Lee Sin didn't get it done. I don't know. I kind of actually want to keep like this Swain Leviathan thing, especially the Leviathan part. It's kind of weird keeping the 8-mana card in the aggro deck, but they, they are, you know, a defensive deck. Um, they have a lot of removal. I think this is going to be a longer game. And Leviathan, like, I will really regret mulligating Leviathan and then never seeing it again. If that happens. Alright, and then, because of Make It Rain, I kind of feel like it's better to play Crimson Disciple. I mean, I guess Crimson Disciple only does one damage, but... Let me show you what I can do. It's so much better against Make It Rain than what Grenadier is. Yeah, look at them. Yeah, see? They're sitting there taking their time thinking, man, my Make It Rain doesn't look nearly as good now. Aha. Packed him good. So should I keep my three spell mana for my Death's Hand available? Or play Legion Grenadier? So this will do an extra damage to them and give me a 2-1. Like, these are going to trade anyway. I'll trade this thing that would die to a ravenous flock, but, um, you know, like, Twist of Fate Red Card can, like, clean up all that stuff, and Mega Rain can clean up all that stuff. It's difficult with these Noc with these Nightfall cards. It's kind of a difficult turn. Right? Like, I could play Nocturne, and then, if, like, what if they play Petty Officer? Like, that's just... El Terrible. <laughs> Yeah, Stygian's doing a good job leveling up our Nocturne. Got them down to 12. Called it on that card. I didn't play the Grenadier so that I could play Grenadier and then Doom Beast. I'll try anyone. Flock has been a little awkward of like, it's good with, it's, you know, good with um, Arachnoid Sentry, but what if we don't have Arachnoid Sentry? What are we doing with it? 
I'm not sure the answer to that question. We both basically have five cards right now. They just also have a powder keg. But I have one of mine in play. It's not awkward, it's awkward. I don't really want powder keg. Okay, that's cool. I just don't I don't want Mega Rain to like go kill like everything. That's fine. See what I mean? A longer game, they play a lot of interaction. We're gonna have our Leviathan next turn. I feel pretty good about keeping that Leviathan. Talking Shadows is a good one with Doom Beast for sure. You're saying they're not playing Demacia so they won't have Raining Guardian? I'm not gonna put him past him. I don't know, I don't wanna. I don't ever wanna say what my opponent can and can't have. <laughs> you never know. Gotta play around everything. <laughs> Alright, we 2 0. Daybre Daybreak Dragons. Good combo. Death's Hand not going to be killing enough stuff. Swain doesn't match up that well against the dragons. Let's look for some early game things. Alright, that's basically the opposite of early game things. Oh, that must have been such a hard decision to, to play that card. Let me show you what I can do. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Just end around. Basically, I like keeping these kind of cards for the uh, Nightfall cards that we have. Oh, I can't wait. My turn. Still just want to pass turn? Man, they must have nothing but Radiant Guardians. Punish transgressions. Nothing but Radiant Guardians. So how do I kill Radiant Guardian? Right, like how am I dealing with Radiant Guardian? Oh, actually this should probably be a Swain turn. Yeah, I'm double spelling here with these two. I should be playing Swain this turn. Sunlight guided, my brethren. Look what you <sighs> by my hand will Noxus rise. So three, this is six, ten. No, oh. So they would have just played like like generic five mana dragon that, that's you know maybe not radiant guardian something like that. I could have like noxion fervored and ravenous flock to kill it and level up my swain and hit him with the swain and kill all these things. That was the plan. Um, should I go upstairs. No, it's just better to kill one of these things. So maybe I need to be holding that in case you know for. A Radiant Guardian or something. The guilty would bend. Wow. Taking all this damage. They need they're trying to keep this thing alive for their Radiant Guardian. Witness glory. Yeah, I'm not blocking.
Alright, let's get our attacks in. So how can we get one more point of damage in? Justice will be served! Empire above all! Fear the power do not see. I don't think I just don't attack. Right? Like I don't think that's the answer. It's just not attacking. Um Alright. I definitely thought about just Ravenous blocking my Doom Beast. Honestly. We'll just Ravenous lock this thing. That's unfortunate they had the second 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 single combat. I will break them. They should thank you. Burns on. Leviathan. More nocturnes. To shine like the sun, you must burn like it. First light illuminates the land. Have Nocturne. We'll be able to give this Leona vulnerable. We'll be going right to combat before they can play another Daybreak to stun my Swain. So now we won't let them block um, Swain. Um, I'm going to just play you right now and get another Nightfall card, actually. While I have Nightfall enabled. All right. We are at war. Don't have enough power to concerted strike, Swain. Oh no, hush. This is the wrong path. I guess that's a card. All right, still alive. So I, I need to... I, I save this in case we would have drawn another Doom Beast. After the battle of the Maybe I should have done again. Maybe I need to save that Ravenous Flock again, actually. Yeah, I need to save that Ravenous Flock again, didn't, don't I? Yeah, I should have just done that this turn. Both of those. I don't know. I just I didn't want them to get like these celestials. Love an oh, that could be great. No. Leviathan and hope they didn't just have a celestial that kills my Leviathan. Or Legion Grenadier and just try to have the two Legion Grenadiers die. Because if I if I take the Leviathan, all they have to do is have any I can only play one Leviathan, they just have like a a card that obliterates my Leviathan, and then I lose. I could take two Legion Grenadiers and try to have, you know, attack and have them both die. I think this is maybe a little safer. It plays around Obliterate. It does not play around Sunburst, so glad to see that. They played something, so that's not a Sunburst. It's like the Silence and deal six damage. Oh, but now, oh no, this 1-2 gets to block my 3-2. I don't know, yeah, that was a tough call. That was a tough call. Who's gonna get in my way? Victory at any cost! Back heretic. Is this what you see? Well, I mean, it still looks like we can lose. Because the 1-2 the is blocking my 3-2. Give you more 
now they get to challenge and tackle the other things first. Alright, maybe we should have gone with Leviathan. I don't know, that was that was really tough. I could have waited on... That second single combat definitely makes me wish I would have waited um, on whenever I Ravenous flocked the Radiant Guardian a long time ago. Yeah, I got hope no star shaping. Alright. Aurelian Soul is stunned that that Living Legends didn't work. Ooh, playing a similar aggro deck. We're going to be going a little bigger than what they're going. Let's get rid of these fervors. Good, I'm really glad we have all of these one mana cards. So we can match them right away. Explosives Prime. In position behind you. Okay, I don't need to play these two now. The Elise is good. If they go right to attack, so I don't get to stop Elise. But if not, I can stun. The old stun and flock. I guess it's better to stun the elusive. Right? Like I can have my 3 2 block the Elise at least. They will get the, the 1 1, but. I think this is the best play. So I can either go Crimson Disciple, Crimson Disciple, Unspeakable Horror. Swain could be difficult for them to block. Be difficult for them to block. That's fine. We have some defense here. We're doing okay. It's even worth blocking that. Probably. Don't think we're really risking Swain with this block. Alright, glad I blocked. Their time has come. Right, I want the non ephemeral Crimson Disciple. Unspeakable Horror created that card. That's pretty awesome. Oh, I can't wait. Um, I guess I didn't really adjust with the Death Sand. Death Sand would have leveled up my Swain. I wish I would have gone Death Sand Nocturne. Alright, well I can still do that, I suppose. 
<clears throat> Not the whole Nocturne part, but the Death's Hand. Yeah, everything is great, Moonlight. Um, yeah, everything's good. Streamed last night, you know, and then I just basically just spent the, the rest of the night editing the YouTube vids and then woke up this morning, did that, and now we're streaming again. And we're four and oh. Praise the Noctora. Remember With the this day. Sweet Nocturne Swing deck. Ooh. This is the deck that loves playing defense. A bunch of avalanches. It's gonna be a Leviathan match. Swain doesn't really match up against Trind or, uh, Trundle. So if they just go turn three ramp, turn four Trundle, my Swain's gonna be looking really slow. Let's just keep the onlooker and see what else we can find. Hello. Well, at least they don't get any Nightfall bonus. And they don't gain a life either, because they were still at 20. So we just traded a 1-mana card for a 2-mana card. However, that's exactly what they want to be doing, is just trading cards. I waste mana by not playing anything, but because of the whole Nightfall thing, we're going to be passing... Maybe the sentries with the stun can like help me get a real good attack in. And I'm gonna play this Nocturne um, with like you know it doesn't die to Avalanche. They probably can't block it. So much Nexus healing. There's a new Super Mario Galaxy? No. Oh, no, no, no. It's not a new one. It's I think it's the old one. Yeah, it's a Switch port. Um, okay, Moonlight, you're going to start playing some Super Mario Galaxy tomorrow, though? All right, there's the Trundle. That's getting in the way of my Swain. I'm playing the ephemeral version because of Avalanche. I think Avalanche is kind of likely here. I really wish I had a Ravenous Flock, so if they did have Avalanche, I'd be able to flock the uh, Trundle. Well, that's even worse. There's not a, a Nightfall card I can create that kills this Trundle, is there? I don't think so. Pill Cascade? Okay, yeah, that's a good one. Pill Cascade would have let me attack with Swain and hit them with Swain. That would have been a good one. Maybe I should have gone that route. I went I went with the uh, Stalking Shadows to see maybe I would hit the 4-1. The that's what I was hoping, that we would get the 1 mana 4-1 and we would, we would be able to play both of them. That's what I was hoping there. Oh, I can't wait. All the Nexus healing. Yeah, we do have a bunch of Arachnoid sentries. <clears throat> Obviously, they're going to play the Ice Pillar. That's that'd be my assumption, yeah. Oh, it's good to be the king. 
Is it? Five damage in by attacking right now. Our strength is yours. Yay, no avalanche. Yay, no avalanche. That's pretty awesome. I don't know if we'll be dead to atrocity or not. Like attack and atrocity. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, we definitely are. I can't stop it. Deploying. If I had a Swain in play and had Ravenous Flock. Uh, you're right. So, like, why? Like, I can't cast the Ephemeral Leviathan, I guess, because it wouldn't get the round start. We wouldn't do any damage. So no, Ephemeral Leviathan wouldn't do anything. Yeah, much better than Atrocity. Need to do a beast yet. Alright, GG's. That's a 5 0, boys and girls. That is a 5 0. And we were able to pull that one out. How about that? Nocturne Swain getting our 5 0 in ranked. Um, yeah, pretty awesome. That's something that doesn't, you know, doesn't happen that often. And uh, found another way to play Nocturne besides just. Um, you know, besides just the the all Nightfall deck. Nocturne wasn't, like, absolutely amazing, but it was still pretty good. You know, still a good 5-3 Fearsome. I'm not sure if it was what's better than what, like, Callista would have been, but, like, maybe. I mean, like, the Vulnerable did help us out a couple of times. Like, we would make, they would have, like, one uh, thing that could block Fearsome. We would give it Vulnerable, so they couldn't. And then we would, uh, you know, challenge it with something else, have our Swain get through. The Nocturne did help out our Swain. It did help our Swain be a better card. Um, and then we had that other time like where we played a Nocturne and they got like the champion spell, Unspeakable Horror, and that was pretty good. It's a good champion spell. Uh, so there we go. Even Crimson Disciple actually looked pretty good against a bunch of two damage stuff, against a bunch of Bilgewater and even Avalanches and things like that. Like the Crimson Disciple, honestly, um, impressed, even without any ways for us to really enable it it was just a, a good body out there that people didn't you know that it affected how my opponents played the game um and there's a lot of tutus right like we played against like one mana tutus with the solari soldiers and crimson disciple being a two three um matched up well against them so there we go that's nocturne swain pretty good deck here all right those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there um, and feel free to leave those comments. Let me know uh, uh, how you like the, the new intro, the editing, um, anything else, any, what else, like what do you want to see on a stream, any kind of champion combinations, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. I love seeing those comments and feedback. But thank you so much for watching some Nocturne Swain, and I'll see you for the next video.